Hey, it's Dr. King. Have you ever wondered why, despite the fact that you're not feeling well, you go to your doctor and your doctor does all these labs and they say all your tests are normal. Why does that happen? It's so frustrating because you know you're not normal, whether you know your, your energy level's down, you can't lose the weight, or you're having the aches and pains. Why does this happen? Well, there's two reasons. I just did a training on this last week. I'm gonna share a very important clip. Please watch it to the end because most people don't realize what is really going on. So, okay. How do we know where to even begin? Because it could be so many things. Is it stress? Is it my adrenals, mold toxicity, hormone imbalances, gut infection? Do I have a nutrient deficiency? Could it be chronic inflammation? Long haulers, insulin resistance, infections, heavy metals. Am I toxic? Do I have food allergies, gluten sensitivity? How do we even begin to figure this out? Well, I'll tell you right now, we have to test. We cannot guess, but here's the problem. You go to your doctor and the doctor does all these tests and they tell you, what do they tell you? Oh, all your labs are normal. This is so frustrating. You know you don't feel normal. You know you don't feel optimal. You know that something's going on. But then the doctor says, hey, all your labs are normal. Makes you think that it's all in your head. No. There's two reasons why this happens. The first reason is because they're not checking all the correct tests. The second reason is because what's considered normal is way too wide. Let's talk about each. The first thing, why are they not checking all the correct tests? This is the reason why. If your doctor participates with insurance, who is that doctor's boss? It definitely is not you. They don't work for you. They work for the insurance company. If the insurance company tells them, listen, there's not a diagnosis to justify this test, they're not going to pay for it. You get a you know big bill, no one's happy. Your doctor won't even order it. You can even tell them, hey, I'll pay for it, doc. No, they won't order it because they're trained to only order what insurance is going to cover. I used to think insurance was the savior. As long as everybody had insurance, problem solved, right? No, that is a joke. In fact, it's the opposite. Insurance is what's keeping people stuck, right? Let's talk about Medicare. Everyone there has heard about Medicare, but for those of you who don't know, Medicare is what the government considers as the gold standard, right? If you have any other insurance, it's pretty much the same because all other insurance, they base their guidelines on whose guidelines? on Medicare's. Let me show you what Medicare has to say about your health. This is a direct quote from their website. A group of chiropractors petitioned Medicare to get them to pay for things that they should be paying for. This is what they uh, responded with. Care that seeks to prevent disease, promote health, and prolong and enhance the quality of life is not considered medically necessary and therefore not payable. I'm gonna let that sink in. When I read this, I was pissed. I was absolutely, absolutely pissed. I assume that you're here because you wanna prevent disease. You don't want the same things that happen to your parents to happen to you. The same things is happening to your loved ones to happen to you. No, Medicare says, sorry, we don't pay for that. You're on your own. I assume that you wanna enhance the quality of your life. You're here on this earth for a purpose. It's hard to live out that purpose if you don't feel well. Medicare says, sorry, we don't pay for that. You're on your own. So what I'm trying to really get you to understand is if you want anything more for your life, for your health, for your family, for your purpose here on this earth, if you want anything more, we have to break out of this symptom management broken healthcare system. We have to take back control over our own health because there's no one that's coming to save us. I've seen it firsthand, okay? We have to make sure that we advocate for ourselves. Now, here's the thing about the norms. This is TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. This is one of the most underdiagnosed conditions that I have seen, and this is the reason why. Because what's considered normal is 0.3 to 5.7. Well, that's extremely wide. Almost everyone is normal based on this. So where do these norms come from? Well, it comes from the average of the population. So 
Canada has their own normal lab values. We have our own in America and Europe has their own. So what's the problem with being compared to 90% of Americans? What's the problem with that? Well, most Americans are either overweight or they're sick. I don't want to be compared to a population of sick people. I want to be optimal. So what we do in our practice is we have what's called functional lab ranges, okay? Where should you be if you're optimal? For the TSH, it should be between 1.8 and 3.0. It's a more narrow range. Every single lab value that we analyze, we have what is optimal. That's what we shoot for because we want to optimize you, all right? And then when we do test, right, most people get TSH and T4. That's another reason why thyroid gets missed because TSH and T4 doesn't give us the all the information that we need. Even people that have been diagnosed with hypothyroidism, they're on Synthroid. And I look at their old labs and they only have a TSH and a T4. What we really need is we need a TSH, a T4, we need a T3 uptake, we need a free T7, a free T4, we need a total T3, we need a free T3, we need the antibodies. Now, let me tell you why the antibodies are so important. Because if you have high antibodies to your thyroid, then that means you don't have a thyroid problem. You have an immune system problem. This is an autoimmune condition. And if your immune system is attacking your thyroid, then guess what? It's likely attacking other organs in your body and you have no idea. That is the reason why we need to know this.